Hi, Basma. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for having me. Of course, I've been wanting to meet you for a while because your photo, one of your photos, is one of my favorite photos of Sophia. Thank you. The Which dizzy, one? <laughs> the dizzy picture. Uh, the one with the three. Where of your me. face? That was the one. Yeah, the three of yeah. you where you look dizzy. I love that one. Thank you uh, so much. Um, and I want. I want to see more of it too. So I want, I want to learn a little bit more about you. Uh, where do you live? And just, can you tell me a little bit, us a little bit about who you are and where you live and um, where you're from? Uh, I'm from Syria and I live in Damascus. And I'm just like 22 photographer. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not like a job. It's actually a hobby more than a job. Yeah, so I do, sometimes I do freelance photography or something like that, yeah. For, what do you do freelance for? <laughs> like photo shoot for like graduation, graduation pro, uh, parties or like um, baby showers, stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Well, tell me about some of the more artistic uh, photos that you do. How did you learn how to do them? What is like, what is your thought well, process? I actually started when I was maybe 13. That's when I got my first camera. It was a Fujifilm. And I started to learn photography by myself. And like my biggest achievement was when I took a picture of the moon for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I like learned how to do the setting and stuff like that. Yeah, and then I discovered Photoshop. <laughs> And I started to play with it, like try every tool and stuff. Yeah, so I created uh, and watched like some pictures of people and they were like very inspiring. And I tried to copy them. Where did you find them? Yeah, uh, on Pinterest, actually. <laughs> so do you, you use Pinterest yeah. to, for idea boards or? Yeah, it's a great place to find ideas. And then how did you learn how to do them? Well, actually, I watched some YouTube videos, yeah, and tried to learn them by myself, and I did it. <laughs> and you're and you put yourself as the subject too. Do you have what? Yeah. Do you do self portraits then? Yeah. Well, because I don't have anyone who would like to, you know, join me on on my pictures, so I decided to take pictures of myself. And just edit them because the results weren't always good. <laughs> so, like, I found out, like, okay, so I have to take pictures of myself because no one else wants to. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I think, I mean, you look great as a subject, I think. Thank you. You. <laughs> you look interesting in the pictures. Thank you. It takes hours, actually. <laughs> Ta talk to me about how it's, like, what it takes. Well, first, I try to take a picture of myself, which is very hard because I have to find, like, the lighting. And it's all done in my room. Some of the pictures are done in my room. And I just use a tripod and my camera and just a timer. Mm -hmm. And I take pictures, and then I try to play with them on Photoshop and try different things. Like, I have a lot of photos that I, that I haven't posted because <laughs> they were really bad. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I doubt that. I mean, sometimes what you think is bad is not bad. And that's yeah. <laughs> um, I actually am super interested because, so we have 13,000 photographers, and you're our only mm -hmm. photographer in Syria. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Well, we have like... It is actually. We have 600 in the UAE. We have 300 yeah. in Jordan. We have probably the same amount in Lebanon. We have hundreds in Egypt, like and we have basically every country. We have hundreds of people in, mm -hmm. and for some reason, you're our only. I'm the only one. <laughs> refer. It's crazy because we do have like many photographers here. Do you know why? Like, I was thinking maybe they don't want to show their like show the work or. I don't. I I don't have any idea. Actually, we have some great photographers. Yeah. I mean, but, yeah. I feel like the world would, like, we never get to see any photos from Syria. 
Where can, yeah. where can people go see photos from Syria if they want to see like pictures of like the market, the streets, people like living around? Are there well, any websites, uh, blogs, anything? Well, there are some accounts that post um, pictures about Damascus in Syria, you know, but I don't know any <laughs> account, but there are some, you know. Are there some that are more like your perspective, like a 22, how old are you, 22? 22 year old 22. Uh, girl living her life. Are there any, any ones like that? Do you guys well, have influencers like other places have? No, I don't, I don't think so. No. Yeah. But there are some really great photographers. They have their own pages and accounts, but like, I don't know if the word no about them you said most of them are in your room have you tried to go to any like of the cultural sites and and kind of recreate that because we have some of our photographers that live in really amazing places they go and they try to do shoots inside um some of like the artifacts and they said a lot of them people too will say like no don't do that or it's weird or but but they end up doing it anyways have you tried that uh, no, actually, I, I think I take more photos inside than outside, but I only take photos like when I'm traveling, but like I rarely take photos outside. <laughs> Why? I started actually by still life photography. Yeah. And then like I went to like landscape and what else? <laughs> Trying to remember. But mostly still life. What, it, what, it, why do you like it? Like what, what attracts you to still life? Well, I like to, I first, I started to take like small subjects, just place, the, place them and take pictures of them. Like uh, the, the, uh, the games that uh, comes in Kinder, you know, Kinder Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I started to place them and then take pictures of them with different lighting. You know, it was practicing. And then I like, I actually like to play with fire <laughs> a lot. So, you know, uh, I like to take uh, pictures of uh, flowers and then I let them fire, <laughs> take pictures <laughs> of them. <laughs> you like yeah. the flowers on fire. Yeah. <laughs> funny. And, yeah. and then what do you do? You edit that into... I haven't seen any of those photos. So what do you do after? I have only one picture that actually actually worked. And I posted it on my account. It didn't, ha it didn't need any editing. It was perfect the way it was. So I posted it. And it was my favorite, actually. That's cool. You should look at search yeah. fire on Scopio. I think we have a lot of fire photos, too. I definitely will. Interesting ones. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I, let's, let's talk more about edit your editing on your images. Cause I thought that your edit mm -hmm. was really interesting. So what, how, what do you watch on YouTube? Like, what do you search and, um, and like, get, can you give some tips for people if they want to try to start playing with editing? Hi, Louis, oh, well, thank you. Well, I recommend to watch, um, so many YouTubes, you know, on Photoshop or whatever you want. I basically just um, search the thing I want to edit in my picture. Like if I want to cut it or just to place something else. Yeah, I would just search it and see a specific video and just do it exactly. Like the and video. What, and what, like, what do you, what would you search for? Like for that picture that I like, what did you, what were you trying I to search I think, uh, I was doing a double exposure some kind of double exposure yeah so i found like so many videos to teach you how to do this and i watched them and then i choose the easiest one <laughs> and you did should, it you should keep trying the harder ones because i think if you keep trying yeah, you're definitely. Really good. i i well, actually I, had a problem with double exposure like i tried so many pictures to you know to do it and then it finally like it was done. <laughs> yeah. You should try to do a, ser a more portrait series about yourself. 
Like if you could do a few, of, like I like the holiday light one too. Yeah. Yeah, if you, you should try to do a series of those so we could, I would love to feature them. But it also Thank would be you. interesting because you're showing one subject in like this dynamic way and you're taking something that you're saying like you're doing them in your room. You're taking something mm -hmm. that anyone can do and now everybody's in COVID and there's nothing to do anyways. So yeah. So it can uh, show people how you can be creative with with not that much happening around you. You can actually use anything in your, home, in your home to do pictures. Like what? Like, uh, let me see. Like the lights I use, they were like in my closet and I don't usually use them. But then I was like, okay, let's use them to do something like a picture and something creative. Yeah. And what else? I use so many things. <laughs> Like if I if you don't have a tripod, you can like use a chair or something else to put your camera on. And what else do I use? It's actually been a while since I did something creative. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> As you are you studying something creative? Are you in school? Uh, I I just graduated from Faculty of Media. So what do you want to do? So. Well, I actually love photography more than being like a TV presenter or in news or something. I like cinematography so much and I want to learn about it more and, you know, be a job for me. And how, do, how can you make that happen for yourself? Like, what do you, who do you, well, what do you have to do? Well, first I need to learn about it. Like if there's any courses or like a master's that um, teach me this, I will do it. But that's the problem because we don't have a master's in cinematography here in Damascus. So yeah. I have to have like a scholarship or something. I wonder if there's any cinematographers in Scopio's community. If anybody's watching here, that'd be interesting to see if anyone can yeah. talk to you. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure we have, I know we have customers that are cinematographers, so uh, I'll, I'll take a look into that and see. But I think you can self-teach also. Yeah, of course. You know what? You know, like, like, I feel so passionate about this subject that you live in like such a beautiful place that is so historical mm -hmm. and nobody gets to see it. Like, I think yeah. for me, if you go and you study cinema, you go and you study this and you go live in London or whatever, somewhere else, like you're missing, I think you're missing, we're missing a huge opportunity for that. Like, can, can you work in Syria and like just start to shoot things in Syria or is there, are there barriers for you? Well, it's forbidden to um, take pictures in the streets with your camera. You okay. need to have a permission for it. And do you want yeah. a permission for it or no? Uh, I don't have, no. Would you want But one? you can you use... One? Yeah, sure. But also you can take pictures with your phone. So that's okay. Yeah. You don't have permission. But what about phone. like at the... If you go to... Not in the street. If you go to a... Um, like a... Uh, ancient like place like say there's nobody there do you need a permission for that um no i don't think so like the ruins yeah yeah no you can't take pictures you can't you can do it say you yeah. wanted to make a movie out of it you probably need permission too right yeah of course you you do need even if you make a like instagram movie like say you just took your your cell phone and you went and you shot well, if no one saw you, then you're okay. <laughs> but it will be on Instagram. People will see it. Yeah, it's okay. No, it's okay to post it. Yeah. Yeah, I actually made like a short um, film about it, like four years or more. Yeah, so it was okay to shoot and to post it. Yeah. I Because it would be nice to do something like your style and your photos. I feel like they have a lot of meaning to them. They could be movies. Like you could make them into short movies yeah. like or cartoons even. 
like a uh, cartoon. Mm -hmm. uh, they're kind of funny. Like there's also like humor. I feel in them. Yeah. <laughs> make make them something fun, like, funny. I if you start to experiment more with your the media mediums, I think even if you still do want to go to school, this will help you get into mm -hmm. school. If you start to yeah. actually create this content. But if not, I think you can teach yourself. If you can teach yourself how to do those images, you can probably teach yourself how to do, you know, mobile, you can do mobile yeah. video and then move your way in to like multi formats. True. Well, actually, I wanted to do something like in my country, you know, like some photography and photo like series. But I don't know like many people who would agree to go. And, yeah. you know. <laughs> Well, you don't and I can't take a picture of myself. Why don't you use yourself? Well, I actually don't like to take pictures of myself that much. I don't look good. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> Thank you, you. You actually are very symmetrical. So it, act, it looks like... It looks good. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Thank you so much. And it's not even about you. It's, if you think about it, it's not even about you. You're just they're yeah. playing some something you're not it's not even mm -hmm. about you so um yeah well maybe someday in the future i would do something i hope yeah you have are, you don't have any classmates that are also that you could also because if you studied media there's probably other people that oh. also are yeah well i i, I you know i never asked them <laughs> So I don't know if they would agree like, yeah. to go and, yeah. You should ask. I'm sure you could collaborate yeah, with something fun. Like, even if you just do something lighthearted. Um, uh, Scopio would love to yeah. sponsor that. I mean, if we can help you do that. Thank you so much. Well, actually, I was shocked the last day. I was, uh, I checked my account on Scopio. And there were, like, so many people who saw my pictures. And I was like, no way. <laughs> I know, because we keep, featuring, we keep featuring those two pictures that I really like. So I want, if you can submit more, I would love that so we can build your page. Because we're just basically featuring those two pictures over and over again. Um, so they, if they mm -hmm. go on the homepage, a lot of people see them. Or if in their, they're in the cover of collections, they see them. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. So it's actually a great platform for photographers. Oh, thank you. What do you like about it? Well, everything. But, you know, like, I like to see others' pictures. And, you know, I like to, to know that people are actually, like, seeing my pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, people are using the photos, too. <laughs> How many, do you have a good download rate? Or should we work on that, too? Are they just well, I actually... Away? Uh, I think it's low, the downloading rate. It's low. Yeah. But there are like so many people who viewed it, so it was good. The, the people who download the most, by the way, have like 500 images on their pages. Mm -hmm. Like the people that get a lot of downloads. Yeah. People, some people are making like $500, $1,000 a month from the having like 500 photos up on their page. Mm -hmm. And so... I would just keep submitting more because it will like make your other photos seen because they go back on your page. They'll look at all of them together. Yeah, I, I will. <laughs> um, somebody has asked if you take takes photos of them. I don't know where they live, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would love to. <laughs> so tell me more about what you like want. So you studied media. What is what would be like your dream uh, in your life, like to do? Uh, to be a cinema a cinematographer or a director. And what do I you like want? That too. What do you want to make? Like, what do you want people to see? What... Uh, films. I like uh, the film industry. Do you know what kind of films? Well, I actually like all kind of films, but mostly drama and social like films like what do you mean like give me an idea that you have uh like you know a movie that they have like a purpose it's not just a film so you can have fun they actually have like a message behind it i like this kind of movies 
yeah i mean if you can get the human story in there and the human take the person through the journey there's like a lot you can do on yeah actually on the mobile films um yeah i would just keep researching and trying and mm -hmm. start writing storylines and i hope that people, yeah people will see this video and maybe they can help you out uh but hire me <laughs> No, you can do it yourself. You don't have to be hired. I think you can do it yourself. Uh, and I'd actually gonna, like to might... do like a movie, like stories from Syria, you know, about was... people here. If you can, because yeah. we don't see that much movies about people here in Syria, so we need more. You know what? There's no personality associated with them because all people see are like macro events. But I, they don't know. They can't get to know Basma, mm -hmm. uh, blind side and paid for it. Be fun. Yeah, they they can't get to know like what is what is it like to be you today. That whole experience is missing, which is why people are like, you know. So, so I think if you can start to make personality out of humans, yes. and it doesn't even need to be in. I mean, you can even do again cartoon illustration. Like you can try a bunch of things. Uh, different types of things to start to tell different stories. But I think if you practice more on the storytelling and how you explain the story, um, then everything else will come naturally because I think you could teach yourself. And mm -hmm. I have a feeling that maybe you want to go work for someone, but you, I have a feeling that you yeah. will be the one hiring people in the future. So yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, you just have to do. Like I always just say, like don't think, do. Just th just do. Mm -hmm. Just don't think and stop. Why it's not gonna work? What's the issue? Like that that way, nothing will ever get done. You just have to do. Yeah, it. true. And I do overthink. <laughs> so that's the enemy of creativity. <laughs> overthinking. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I don't overthink because, it, like, don't overthink because. Uh, you won't achieve anything if you just think about it. Also, as you said, you have to do it. The only way to learn is by mistakes. That's that's the real issue. Yeah. Is that you True. have to be okay with being like this is bad because that will eventually take you to what's good. You're not gonna start off with good. You have to actually mm -hmm. do the bad things in order to get good. Yeah. So um, totally agree. And it takes so many years of your life. So. Yeah. <laughs> so it's better to start earlier. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I need to start. <laughs> What's one thing you wish everybody knew about uh about Syria that they don't know? Well, I would really like people to know that what they see on the news is not always true. You know, like the news are not always true about things here. So, so people look at us, true? you know, like they look at us in a bad way, like they don't, as if we don't know anything in this life, but we do. It's not true. Yeah. What do you, what is it? How can they know the truth then? Like if you only have, we only have the news to look at. What do you, yeah, how change the, the news. <laughs> change the news to what? What do they change it to? What can they watch? <laughs> Well, I don't, maybe they need to follow more like accounts about yeah. like Syrian accounts, you know, get to know people more often. And is there anything that the Scopio artists can help? Like, again, we have a big community. Is there anything that our community mm -hmm. can help you guys with? Yeah, I, I think maybe like featuring um, pictures of Damascus or Syria in general. That would be nice. Yeah. You know, yeah, like about the culture or just the places. Yeah, it would be good to collaborate and maybe have ideas. Yeah. Uh, because you guys are the ones there. So they're the ones that have to take the photos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I would love to, actually. That would be great. Well, whatever you want to do, like, we're happy to promote it for you. So uh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much for having me again. <laughs> of course, you too. Yeah.